Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Cancer. But if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you to those who already do so. Um, Cancer, let's see what's going on for you. You may have a choice of, of three or more people. I think you know who's best for you. You may be, you, you were keeping options open, but now you want to really make a permanent choice of who you want to be with. You're looking at the bigger picture in regards to what's the end game here? What's the end goal? Um, who can you accomplish long-term goals with? You could even be asking yourself that. Or someone is in, in regards to you. Um, cancer. What's going on with Cancer, Lord God? Bless Cancer with a clear and concise message for this week okay all right so some of you may have to compromise in the face of adversity something happened something changed within a dynamic that could be something or someone resurfacing could be Sagittarius doesn't have to be. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You're going to have to compromise. It's like somebody wants to salvage what you guys had. Or maybe this is you. you you're you wanting to salvage what you had or yeah had with someone. And um, maybe you want it again. Let's see. Page of Fire has come up. In every reading, I've shuffled these cards backwards and forward. Page of Fire. Somebody's going to get a message that, um, or give a message, you know, that I've changed. And, you know, if you can do this and then I can do that. And if you just meet me halfway, um, you get a message that may might even prompt you to go in a new direction. Or you give a message that's going to prompt you to go in a new direction. Let's see what this is about. Um, maybe you're giving a message, an apology, or you're saying it's like I've changed, or I am changing, or I will change, or let's do this, or let's do that. If you do this, then I'll do that. Um, you could be receiving that type of message, or you could be giving it. It's a message that makes you take action. You know, somebody may say, well, you know, if you just forgive me, uh, we can move past this. Um, maybe we can even go on that trip that you wanted to go on. You know, it, they're telling you what they're going to do and they want you to meet them halfway. Um, it could be an Aquarius person um, saying this to you or you saying it to them. It could be just you wanting to restore, rebuild, reestablish, renew something with a particular person or someone is doing this with you because they feel like you um you're on their path in life for a reason or or it feels right with you it feels like they're on the right path with you um you could be dealing with someone who very spiritual um they could get a lot of attention they could be in a public eye they could be a star um in their own right you could have given this person a message about what it is they should be doing to gain notoriety to get one in seven is eight and that's other people's money other people's attention other people's investment in them so you could have given them a message in that regard or vice versa them to you um let's see queen of, yeah it looks like somebody is trying to restore balance um to a situation where there was a disruption there was interference, there was chaos, there was drama, there was, you know, maybe maybe this is a love affair or there was a love triangle or um, someone was acting childish. Cancer, your life path could be that you listen very well to other people, you give good advice, you know how to stay emotionally stable without taking on that energy of you know that that comes your way um 
you may have also found somebody else that is good at that and you guys kind of like the yin and the yang you kind of marry Mira not Mary could, be, could marry you kind of mirror each other you also you, it says that you're gonna have a healthy or wealthy marriage you know this is what you hoped and wished and prayed for and it's coming to fruition uh, who we have on the, the board are the Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Fire, Sign, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Let's get the advice for you this week. Ooh, okay, that's way too many. All right. What's the advice for Cancer? You want somebody to remain emotionally stable. They could be younger than you, but you you find them very attractive with this star card in here. People are attracted to them. You're attracted to them. They have a listening ear. They have a, a good heart. Um, you can feel as if they're kind of green kind of green in regards to your life your lifestyle what it is you bring to the table um they're very emotionally stable with this blue card here um what's the advice for cancer this could be you too cancer uh, what's the advice for cancer this week the tower gemini got the tower also um let old foundations crumble whether it's with this person or is with um, a job, any an entity, a group of people. Let old foundations crumble in regards to maybe relationship or, or relationship choices. Um, maybe you putting yourself first or you're, or you're always putting yourself first to where you can't um, have true partnership. Um, being self-centered. Um, whatever it is, let it subside, let it crumble, let it fall to the ground and rebuild. Even if this is a mindset, you know, you have to, in order to have something different, you have to do something different. Change, you know, change is the only thing that changes. Change, you know, so let's see. Um, the tower says some unexpected event this week. Your your advice is to let these old foundations crumble. Maybe you're keeping options open with a lot of people. Um, you're looking to the past. You're creating opportunity with new people uh, while still being guarded in regards to you know all of the energy that you put out or or you keep things at bay or at halt or at a halt you could even be lying um, about your your situation about your relationships um, you could just be out to get whatever it is you can get out of relationships out of um, yeah out of relationships and these could be romantic relationships friendships family um, you're just out for yourself it says let all of that you know go by the wayside yeah, seven of fire. You, you're going to have to. So stand your ground. In regards to a relationship. A marriage or, or business. How you're coming off to other people is standing your ground. You might have to let this go. You might have to release. Yeah. Or someone's blocking you. Someone doesn't want to talk to you. Someone doesn't want your energy any longer. They um, could be physically blocking you. What what they're doing to you is causing a lot of anxiety. The nine of air, you know, you having low energy. Um, maybe your perseverance or your, your stamina, your endurance is off also energetically. It, this might be saying you need to block somebody because they caused you a lot of anxiety. It says let the old foundation crumble because relationships, marriages, something of that nature causes you a lot of anxiety. But you're still keeping options open. You still have a lot of energy elsewhere. 
um, the anxiety might be because you need to choose a new way of living, a new lifestyle. Um, some partnership needs to move forward. Okay, you need to press, you need to push it forward, or you need to abandon it, walk away from it, or this person might walk away from you. So it looks like the ball is in your court this week, Cancer. Um, you could be just. You could have extreme pain at night. It says you're stronger than you know. Okay? So if you're feeling like you're not, you are. Parental care. So some of you need to, you have children or you have, you know, elderly ch father and mother or parents and you need to look in on your your um parents or you are a parent and you need to spend more time with your children realizations and epiphanies it looks like you have one this week realizing that someone is good for you is that they're on your path their life your life you may be thinking about someone heavily it brings you a lot of anxiety you know that you need to push a relationship a partnership forward you may have kept this energy at bay um you could have been blocking a relationship from moving forward it says you need to either allow it to progress naturally someone also could have come back from the past someone who the relationship was had been ended for a long time it hadn't you guys have not been together for a while um they're back it was kind of drama filled with them this may be all of a sudden that they're back it brings you a lot of it mental anxiety you could also be having pain as you sleep at night um yeah you could even be suffering from low energy here well cancer i hope that this reading resonated with you if it did go over to the website book, book your own reading there or you can email me with at the email address below and you can um send your question you can do the one question one answer send an email to that email address below uh, pay for your question and receive the answer to your question via email uh, thank you, Cancer. Take care. Many blessings to you. Stay safe.